Oh shit. My bad. I was just reading one of my favorites. Anyways, okay, so this is my top five all-time favorite Pokemon from all generation. This means I don't have a specific generation. I'm not gonna go my favorite from Ruby, my favorite from Silver, my favorite, you know, I'm not doing a generational thing. This is literally my top five Pokemon of all generations picked out. So it could be all generation one Pokemon. It could be all generation two. It could be a mix of all of them. It, you know, you'll find out. All right, starting out this list, and number one is Sassoon. I probably don't say this Pokemon's name right, but uh, Sassoon, Sassoon, however you want to put it. The Water Dog Pokemon. Out of all three legendary dogs in Generation 2 Pokemon Silver version, the water type Pokemon known as being the Aurora Pokemon, standing in at 6 foot 7 inches and weighing in at 412 pounds, this Pokemon rocks my favorite color of cyan-ish blue. Sure, it is not an ice type, but it sure can learn some of the best ice type moves out there. Its overall st stats as well and its defensive stats are really good. I love the look, I like the style, and the design, and so on, of this Pokemon. I'd love to get on this Pokemon's back and have it run me all around. It'd be so cool. Number two, Reg Ice. Or as I like to say, Reggie Ice. Or at least how I used to say it until I found out how to say it right. Anyways, this wonderful iceberg Pokemon standing in at 5 feet 11 inches tall. Hey, we're the same height. And weighing in at 385 pounds, this Pokemon, again, appealing to my favorite color of ice type, being a priority favorite of mine, is awesome. I love its style. I love the look and I love the color, not to mention the design. It's so unique and cool. I really genuinely like it. Not only that, but stat-wise, it's in fucking sane when it comes to special defense at a base stat of 200. Holy hell! And the max of 548. This thing is a fucking tank. Don't attack it with special attacks. Go physical. There's no point in trying to physical or uh, special attack this guy. The rest of its stats are great nonetheless, though. Although its speed and physical attack aren't too great for, for what it's worth as defense and special defense, make it easy to outlast an opponent and whittle it down little by little. A favorite of mine to have on my team for Ruby version. No doubt about that. Coming in at number three, Rayquaza. Whoa, Rayquaza coming in at three? Well, shit, the next two Pokemon must be pretty damn amazing to be out doing this Dragon-type Pokemon. No surprise here being a Dragon and all, but the Sky High Pokemon, who is a Dragon-Flying Combo-type, is a Pokemon not to fuck with, to say the least. I love its look and its style and its design. It's pure overall badass with its insane physical attack and special attack-wise. Standing in at 23 feet tall and weighing in at 455 pounds. This dragon is a force to be reckoned with. It's like the Mewtwo of dragons. You just can't beat it. You can't compare it to anything else. It's just purely badass and you don't fuck with this Pokemon. It is the strongest of the strong. It is the superior dragon of all dragons. Just like Mewtwo is the superior Pokemon of all Pokemon. I love it. Coming in at number two, and this was a hard one, but ultimately I I had to put this one in number two rather than number one, but you'll find out why number one is number one. Anyways, coming in at number two, our Tycuno. Ah yes, the Freeze Pokemon, standing in at five foot seven inches tall and weighing in at 122 pounds. This ice flying type Pokemon is another all-time favorite of mine. No surprise if you've watched my Pokemon videos, you'll notice 9 times out of 10, I'll have an Articuno on my team, even if it's in the beginning of the game. First time seeing this Pokemon was during the Indigo League, the anime cartoon version of uh, the original, mind you, of Pokemon. Then of course when I played Yellow version, I love this Pokemon for so many many reasons from purely being colored in my favorite all-time color cyan and its overall sleek 
look and design just makes me adore this Pokemon. Out of all the birds, this is my number one favorite, as Mewtwo is my overall number one favorite. Not to mention, in the shows, and the movies, and the, and the so on and so forth, I love how its ice attacks are. It just looks so fucking cool. I love using Articuno as my go-to Pokemon for ice attacks and overall use. Its special defense is rather impressive, and overall stats as well. I'd love, more than anything, to get on Articuno's back and have Articuno fly me all around in real life, more than any other Pokemon. Number one, and it should be no surprise, my all-time favorite Pokemon of all generations, Mewtwo. He has been my favorite since day one, always in my top favorites for generation one, and even now, obviously, in 2018. My all-time number one favorite Pokemon, its power, its mind frame, its destructive strength, and ability to communicate with humans, and overall look in, in its design, its backstory to this Pokemon is so appealing to me. I'd never think anything less of Mewtwo, and I always say he's number one regardless of how many new Pokemon come out, including the so-called god of all Pokemon, Arceus. Fuck that, Mewtwo's the god. You know, fuck that. Mewtwo is number one. Mewtwo is the god. Mewtwo is everything superior to every other Pokemon ever. Now, past, current, and future. Mewtwo for life. Anyways, that has been my top five all-time favorite Pokemon out of all generations. I thank you for watching.